let's look at some of the motivation and driving factors that have led to the development of cloud computing based platforms so one of the important factor that has influenced cloud computing is the desire of enterprises to move towards a utility computing based model a small to medium enterprise they don't want to let's say set up uh, their own IT infrastructure for running let's say a simple web shop so in that sense uh, they, they would prefer renting the computing utilities than uh, owning the whole infrastructure for running their own e-shop similarly there have been advancements in the technology space particularly virtualization has matured and it offers software abstraction of the hardware resources and also multi-core CPUs general purpose uh, GPUs general uh, general purpose uh, graphical processing units that is fast storage as well as networks etc that have also experienced tremendous uh, improvements and there is a desire to harness all these capabilities so all these factors have contributed towards development of cloud computing based platforms another factor has been uh, economies of scale a cloud provider can negotiate much better prices for the hardware than an individual entity trying to buy the same hardware and as a result a cloud provider is able to pass on all those benefits to the consumers and overall there is a win-win situation often for both the consumers as well as the cloud providers and also since the cloud provider is uh, particularly focusing on a, per, uh, a specialized area which is providing let's say the infrastructural so, uh, infrastructural uh, computing facilities so they can offer better availability reliability etc of the infrastructure and another factor has been uh, from the standpoint of uh, enterprises uh, there is a need for having the ability to provision the servers on a on-demand basis that is depending upon enterprise applications uh, processing needs they should be able to easily provide more servers that is scale up or they should be able to relinquish the server service uh, server resources if the application demands goes down and another key uh, factor has been the need for an individual to focus on one's own business that is a developer's main business is building and designing application a developer should not ideally be uh, worried about managing the underlying infrastructure such as providing the hardware and configuring the networks and so on the typical data center operations are not uh, a, tip, a, a typical data center operations and management is not the domain of uh, application developer typically so in that sense the, the this need has also driven uh, the development of this cloud computing model where different uh, providers are focusing on a particular type of a service that they are bringing to the consumers another important factor has been the need for uh, flexible pricing and uh, subscription model for obtaining the computing services for a small to medium enterprise particularly they want to have a very low entry cost let's say the, if they want to set up a small uh, uh, portal uh, they don't want to invest in managing as well as bringing up uh, the whole data center or a computing infrastructure that is required to run such a website and also they want to be able to procure the resources as I mentioned before on demand and depending upon the application needs so that they can pay in a very flexible model so let's look at some of the example applications uh, a very common example is uh, Google Apps it offers a wide variety of productivity tools such as uh, email in the form of Gmail calendar application is there also there is sites etc that allows you to address certain type of requirements so you don't have to do any kind of development per se in these scenarios you just use the software which is offered as a service similarly VMware Cloud Foundry it offers you a set of uh, services where a developer can just focus on building the application and not really managing uh, the underlying infrastructure 
and they offer wide variety of uh, services from storage solutions to giving the runtimes for your web applications such as python java and others so in that sense the developers can focus on just for example writing and designing their application not necessarily managing the underlying infrastructure some of the cloud providers on the commercial side, Amazon has been a very early player where they are offering uh, computing facilities in the form of EC2 service, Elastic Compute Cloud, and also storage S3, simple storage service. And there is a wide variety of other services that Amazon offers. Similarly, Microsoft has been uh, in this field where they are offering Azure, uh, which offers computing as well as storage and several other services. Google App Engine offers a platform where app, uh, applications can be developed in by using specific services and APIs uh, by the developers and Google manages all the underlying infrastructure and takes care of scaling and so on. There have been other offerings uh, like Salesforce has been around which offers software as a service offering for uh, uh, CRM kind of software. IBM has been uh, there offering some similar services and Yahoo is there and so on. In the open source space, there have been several projects which offer the software that allows you to set up your own cloud infrastructure. For example, Open Nebula, Nimbus, Eucalyptus, OpenStack, CloudStack, all these projects provide a software which you can use to set up your own infrastructure as a service cloud. We'll look at in the subsequent uh, lectures what is uh, infrastructure as a service cloud. Uh, and AppScale has been influenced by Google App Engine. It is an open source implementation of very similar services that Google App Engine offers. So just to summarize, uh, in the previous lecture we looked at the cloud is not entirely a new idea. This concept has been around uh, since the time of uh, early time sharing systems which was which were used to improve the utilization of mainframes in early 60s and the key factors that have uh, influenced the development of uh, cloud computing has been uh, both in the technology space as well as in the business space business space means there has been a desire of enterprises to move their capital expenses, convert their capital expensive into operational expensive. That is, they want to move, uh, move away from owning the data center kind of model towards uh, renting from a utility or a cloud provider. All those computing uh, infrastructures that they need. And economies of scale have played an important role. Similarly, development and maturing of virtualization technologies have uh, influenced so that's pretty much it for this lecture.